Infinite Solutions, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Ever wondered how to get your dog to behave properly? You're not alone. There's a world of fellow dog owners out there, just like you, trying to navigate the sometimes tricky path of dog training. The beauty of it is, dog training isn't rocket science. It's a skill that can be learned and mastered by anyone willing to put in the time, patience and love. It's all about understanding your dog, communicating effectively, and responding correctly to their behavior. Now you might be thinking, where do I even start? Well, just like any journey, dog training begins with a single step. And that step, in this case, is the sit command. It's one of the most basic yet essential commands in dog training serving as the foundation for many other commands and behaviors. But why is sit so important? Well, teaching your dog to sit on command can help manage their behavior, ensuring they're calm and controlled in various situations. From waiting patiently at the door to behaving politely around guests, the sit command plays a crucial role in fostering a well-behaved dog. In this video, we're going to break down the process of teaching your dog to sit into simple, easy to follow steps. We'll be walking you through the entire process, from understanding your dog's behavior to the actual training and even addressing common mistakes to avoid. Dog training is more than just teaching tricks. It's a way to strengthen the bond between you and your furry friend, enhancing communication and mutual respect. It's about creating a harmonious relationship based on understanding and trust. So whether you're a seasoned dog owner or a first-time pet parent, this guide is designed to help you navigate the world of dog training with confidence and ease. Remember, every dog is unique and what works for one may not work for another. But with patience, consistency and a dash of creativity, you can create a training regimen that suits both you and your canine companion. So, get your furry friend and let's start this exciting journey together. To train your dog first, you need to understand them. Understanding your dog is like learning a new language a language of body postures, wagging tails, and expressive eyes. Each dog is unique, boasting a distinctive personality and a set of behaviors. Recognizing these behaviors is the key to successful training and a harmonious bond. Imagine you're at a gathering where everyone speaks a language you don't understand. Confusing, isn't it? That's how dogs feel when we don't understand their signals. They communicate their needs, fears, and joys through body language and vocalization. By learning to interpret these signals, we can better comprehend our furry friends and respond appropriately. For instance, a wagging tail doesn't always signify happiness. Depending on the tail's position and speed, it could also indicate fear, aggression, or even insecurity. Similarly, a dog might whine or bark not just for attention, but also due to anxiety or discomfort. Observing and understanding these cues can help us meet our dog's needs effectively. Consistency is another cornerstone of effective dog training. Dogs thrive on predictability. Consistent commands, routines and responses help them understand what's expected of them. If you reward your dog for sitting today, but ignore the same behavior tomorrow, it confuses them. Consistency in your actions reassures your dog, making training more effective. Patience, they say is a virtue in dog training. It's an absolute necessity. Training doesn't happen overnight. It takes time for dogs to learn and understand commands. There might be days when progress seems slow or your dog seems unusually stubborn. But remember, they're not doing this out of spite. They're learning just like we do. So breathe, stay patient, and celebrate every little progress. Understanding your dog is not about molding them into obedient robots. It's about creating a bond based on mutual respect and understanding. It's about appreciating our dogs for who they are, individually unique and wonderfully complex creatures. With understanding and patience, you can shape your dog's behavior effectively. Now onto the first command, sit. A quintessential element of basic obedience training, the sit command is typically the first thing we teach our furry friends. But why is it so important? Well, it's not just about having a dog that listens. It's about ensuring their safety and promoting good manners. A dog who sits on command is less likely to jump up on people, dart out the door, or run off in a dangerous situation. So, how do we teach our dogs to sit? First, 
we must find a quiet, distraction-free environment. This is crucial in the initial stages of training, as it allows your dog to focus solely on you and the task at hand. Remember, their world is full of fascinating smells, sights and sounds that can easily distract them. Once you have found the perfect spot, get down to your dog's level. This will make you less intimidating and more approachable. With a treat in your hand, hold it close to their nose to get their attention. Next, slowly raise the treat above their head. As their nose follows the treat, their bottom will naturally go down. As soon as their bottom hits the floor, say the word sit in a clear, friendly tone. Then, immediately give them the treat and shower them with praise. This sequence of actions, the movement of the treat, the command, and the reward, is what will help your dog associate the word sit with the action. Now it's all about repetition. Practice this a few times each day, but keep sessions short and fun. Dogs like us can get bored or frustrated if training goes on for too long. And most importantly, be patient and consistent. Not all dogs learn at the same pace. Some might pick it up in a day, while others might take a week or more. That's perfectly okay. What matters is that you stick with it and keep the training positive. Remember, the key is to be patient and consistent. With time and practice, your dog will be sitting on command like a pro. So, how do you get your dog to sit on command? Let's dive into it. The training process is like a dance, where you lead and your dog follows. To teach the sit command, you'll need a quiet environment, your dog's favorite treats, and a whole lot of patience. Start by holding a treat close to your dog's nose. Allow your dog to sniff the treat, but don't let them snatch it from your hand. Now move your hand with the treat slowly upwards over your dog's head. As your dog lifts their head to follow the treat, their bottom naturally goes down. The moment their bottom hits the ground, say sit in a clear, firm voice. Immediately after saying the command, give them the treat and lavish them with praise. This is called positive reinforcement, a powerful tool in dog training. It's all about rewarding the behaviors you want to see more of. Repeat this process a few times. Remember, consistency is key. Once your dog starts associating the word sit with the action and the reward, you can gradually start reducing the treats. Now here's a pro tip. Vary the training sessions. Practice in different rooms and outside if possible. This helps your dog understand that the command applies in all situations, not just in the living room with a treat in your hand. It's important to keep the training session short but frequent. Dogs, especially puppies, have short attention spans. Aim for several five-minute sessions spread throughout the day, rather than one long session. Also, never punish or yell at your dog if they don't get it right. This could make them nervous and less likely to respond to your commands. Instead, stay positive, patient, and persistent. Remember, every dog learns at their own pace. It might take a day, a week, or even longer for your dog to master the sit command. That's perfectly okay. The goal is to build a strong, positive association with training, making it a fun and rewarding experience for both you and your dog. And there you have it, a dog that sits on command. But what if your dog doesn't respond to the sit command? Well, it's quite possible that you might be making a few common training mistakes. Don't worry, even the best of us have been there, and today, we will talk about how to overcome these hurdles. One common error is inconsistent communication. Remember, your furry friend doesn't understand English, French, or any human language for that matter. They learn through consistent signals and cues. So if you use sit one day and down the next, your dog might get confused. Stick to one command and use it consistently. Another common mistake is moving too fast. It's easy to get excited when your dog responds to a command. However, before moving on to the next trick or command, make sure your dog has fully mastered the current one. Your dog needs time to understand and internalize each command. Patience is key in dog training. Now, onto the third mistake, not making training enjoyable for your dog. Remember, dogs, like humans, learn better when they're having fun. So make sure to incorporate playtime into your training sessions. Use their favorite toy or treat as a reward. This will not only motivate them, but also create a positive association with training. The fourth mistake is not training often enough. Training your dog isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process that requires regular practice. If you train your dog once and expect them to remember everything, 
you're setting both of you up for disappointment. A few minutes of training each day can go a long way. Lastly, it's crucial not to lose your temper. Dogs are sensitive creatures and they can sense your frustration. If you yell or show anger, your dog might become fearful and less likely to respond to your commands. Always maintain a calm and positive demeanor during training sessions. Avoiding these mistakes can make your training sessions much more effective. Remember, every dog is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. Be patient, consistent, and make the learning process enjoyable for your four-legged friend. Happy training! Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. In the first part of our discussion, we dove into the importance of understanding your dog. We highlighted that every dog is unique, with its own personality and quirks. You must learn to understand their body language, their likes and dislikes, and their comfort zones. This understanding is the foundation upon which successful training is built. Next, we moved on to the SIT command. This is a basic command that is both simple to teach and vital for your dog to learn. We broke down the process into easy steps, starting from introducing the command, luring your dog into a sitting position, rewarding them for their success, and gradually reducing the use of treats as they become more familiar with the command. Remember, repetition and consistency are key here. Then, we delved into the training process itself. We emphasized that training is not a one-time event, but a continuous process that requires patience and consistency. The importance of positive reinforcement was also discussed. It's all about rewarding good behaviors and ignoring the bad ones, not punishing your dog. This approach builds a strong bond between you and your dog, making training a fun and enjoyable experience for both. Finally, we explored common training mistakes. We pointed out that expecting instant results, not being consistent, or using negative reinforcement can hinder your dog's learning process. It's crucial to avoid these pitfalls to ensure a successful and positive training experience. We've covered a lot of ground today, but remember that this is just the beginning of your dog training journey. Stay patient, remain consistent, and keep things positive. Training your dog is not just about teaching them commands, but also about building a strong loving bond with them. Remember, dog training is a journey not a destination. Now let's answer some common questions about dog training. Firstly, one of the most frequent queries we receive is, how long does it take to train a dog? The truth is, it varies. Training is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. Some dogs pick up commands in a few weeks, while others may take several months. Consistency, patience, and positive reinforcement are key. Then we have the question, why isn't my dog listening to my commands? It's important to remember that dogs aren't humans. They don't comprehend language the way we do. They associate words with actions or rewards. So if your dog isn't obeying, it could be because they haven't made that association yet. Or perhaps they're distracted or not motivated enough. Experiment with different rewards and ensure you're training in a distraction-free environment. Another common query is, is it ever too late to train a dog? Absolutely not. While it's true that younger dogs may learn faster due to their developmental stage, older dogs are perfectly capable of learning new tricks and behaviors. The key is to tailor your approach to your dog's age, health, and temperament. Can I train my dog myself, or should I hire a professional? This depends on your comfort level and your dog's needs. Basic obedience commands can often be taught at home with the right methods and commitment. But for more complex issues like aggression, or severe anxiety, professional help may be necessary. Next, should I use a clicker for training? Clicker training is a method that uses a distinct sound, a click, to tell your dog when they've done something right. It's not mandatory, but can be a powerful tool for precise communication. Lastly, why does my dog do well in training sessions but not in real life? Training doesn't stop when the session ends. Dogs need to learn that commands apply in all settings, not just during training. Practice commands in various environments and situations. Hopefully this answers your questions and clears up any confusion. That's all for today's dog training guide. We've covered a lot of ground, and if you've been following along, I'm sure you and your furry friend are on your way to a harmonious and respectful relationship. We started off with an introduction to dog training, 
exploring its importance and how understanding your dog is fundamental to effective training. Remember, every dog is unique with their own personality and quirks. Being in tune with your dog's needs and signals is the first step to successful training. We then dived into the sit command, a fundamental command that lays the groundwork for other instructions. We broke it down into simple step-by-step -step instructions, making it easy for you to replicate with your dog. Patience and consistency are key here, as is the case with all training exercises. The training process itself was our next focus. We discussed how to maintain a positive and patient demeanor, ensuring that your dog feels safe and secure throughout. It's all about creating a positive learning environment, which can make the training process enjoyable for both you and your dog. We also touched on common training mistakes. These are pitfalls that can hinder progress, but by being aware of them, you can avoid them and set your dog up for success. Remember to always prioritize the safety and well-being of your dog. The Q&A session brought up some interesting points and concerns. Hopefully the answers provided were enlightening and beneficial to your training journey. To wrap up, let's remember that dog training is about more than just obedience. It's about communication, understanding, and building a strong, healthy bond with your dog. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth celebrating. So, go ahead, practice these techniques with your dog. Take it slow, be patient, and most importantly, make it fun. Training should be a rewarding experience for both you and your dog. Thank you for watching. Happy training and see you in the next video.